Hey, what's happening everybody? Hope you guys are feeling great. I'm Team Kills. What I like to do is make gaming easier. And in true easy essence, I mean the essence of easy? Hmm. Path of most easy is? That's not right either. Uh, have you guys ever heard the saying, if it's not broken, don't freaking touch it? Pretty sure that's how that one goes. Or how about if you need to aim, you didn't bring enough bullets? That one's mine. Probably pretty sure you haven't heard that one. But what they both mean is, if you got the right Warframe and weapons, you got the right Warframe and weapons. Not every frame needs an ability swap. Now I know every frame is great, depending on your mod setup, your play style, what you're doing with them, but Baruch, you can do a lot of different things, and he's great, great almost all the time. And if you happen to pick Mr. Defense for a defense, he's practically a perfect frame. For example, his elude, no matter what defense you're playing, whether it's a mobile, an endless, or one of those weird defection missions, it doesn't matter the tile set either. All the enemies are going to come to that cryopod or the hostage, you know, the guy just walking around trying to get shot. Elude will allow you to just stand there and be safe. Now it's technically energy draining, but it's not a bad drain. And with some range, this ability will have a 360 degree window. That's not actually a window, it's more like just outside. Now every time a bullet passes through you, it's going to charge your fourth ability. Now your desolate hands, these are like small tiny little dagger shaped homing radial disarm shurikens. Cool, I like that. These things knock the guns right out of people's hands and then they have to come and get, well, death. Power will increase the number of them that you have circling around you and range will increase how far out that they will reach out and get the other enemies. Now, your shards will be shared between your allies, the ones that are closest to you, and your sentinel. You can always recast this ability whenever you want and it'll just refill you and your party. Plus, every time you knock a gun out of somebody's hands, it charges your final ability. Now, lull, man, this move is what makes Baruch Mr. Defense. Simply put, it puts enemies to bed. It's not instant, it takes like three seconds, but it's a full 360 degree attack. And once they're asleep, it's really up to you how you want to kill them. And they're open for finishers. Now, Baruch has an amazing syndicate mod that is, actually this video explains it way better at the whole thing. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Duration will extend the time that these guys will stay asleep. And of course, Every enemy that falls asleep charges your final ability. Now, your final ability is called Serene Storm and you can't use this right away. All your other abilities charge it here on this circle. As soon as a little sliver is gone, you can use it. But this is a timer, so it's best to get it full so you can just go have fun. Now, Serene Storm, his final ability basically turns him into like an airbender. A good one too. Nobody's safe. It goes through doors, walls, ledges, skulls, groups of skulls, which is very important. Also, the slide attack will pop guys up in the air. Now, if you happen to be running with the Crescent Volpapala, Volpapala, I think that's how you say it, it's stupid, whatever. If you happen to be going with that abomination, now this thing likes to attack popped up enemies, and it likes to pop them up itself. It also has a 100% bonus when it attacks lifted enemies. Now, I'll be honest with you, this combo is more entertaining than it is actually like deadly, but this is a game, we're supposed to have fun. Why can't I play catch with my abomination? Oh, and I forgot. When you got Serene Storm active, you get a minimum 25% damage reduction. This will raise with your power level. Now I got two builds that I usually run with. This one is a range build. It's good, period. But it was done with Endless Lullaby in mind. Like honestly, you really should check this Bedtime Murderer out. It will surprise you how well this thing works. And this 
is my power slash balance build. This is the one that I've been using for this video and the one that I usually use. I like this one the best because my elude ends up having a 240% range. My desolate hands it will spawn 18 shards. The range isn't bad. My actual range is 130 meters, so it's pretty good. With lull, it turns into 32 and a half meters. And with just um, 229 power level, Serene Storm absolutely pounds enemies level 60 to 90 in like one, two hits. So it's like the perfect balance. He's like the perfect guy for defense. If you come to him, you're going to die. When guys are shooting at you, does nothing. You make them drop their weapons, so they have to come to you. And then you have the choice between putting them to sleep or pounding them to death. It's great. Elude and Desolate Hands are also perfect abilities to chain together for a Blood Rush build. Surprise, 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 I'm doing a Blood Rush build. They will get disarmed or shoot through you or chop to pieces. Plus, the combo counter that you've been building up with your weapon will continue with Serene Storm. Now, you can't actually Blood Rush Baruch's Desert Wind Gauntlets, but the combo counter effects, they will still apply, especially if you switch to the Naraman School of Focus. You can go make sure that Power Spike is activated. What this does is when your combo counter is dropping, it will only fall by five instead of all the way to zero. This will help you keep it up. <laughs> keep it up and these are all good options to be honest but picking Baruch for defense is like the perfect option now you guys can let me know what frame you guys think is best or possibly better I'll be honest I do know there are a lot of good frames and a lot of good combinations but no limbo no limbo he or she doesn't count this this is boring this is not playing games but on that note i really really appreciate you hanging out to the end if this helps join the team killers become a killer of teams let me know what you're thinking in the comments or instagram these are the ways we could talk make sure you pick baruch for your next defense make sure to keep it easy and remember just keep gaming